Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again with another episode of Mogul Motivation. This podcast is for you. This podcast is for the entrepreneur struggling to get over that hump. This podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur struggling to take that leap of faith. This podcast is for anybody who has a dream or a goal that wants to make it happen. Today, I want to talk about the dream factory. You see, everyone on this earth has a dream. Every single one. We have dreams of doing extraordinary things, building big businesses, reaching paramount levels of success. We dream big. But unfortunately, the most concentrated area of dreamers on this earth reside at the cemetery. Because more than half of the world's population, nearly all of the world's population, take their dreams to the grave. There's multiple reasons for this. Some were too afraid. Some believed the lie that it couldn't be done. Some were too lazy. Nevertheless, regardless of the reason, it's a tragedy when anybody takes their dream to the grave. When any dreamer, visionary, entrepreneur doesn't execute. It's always a tragedy. Because, see, dreams are a product of our imagination. But that's not the end of it. We have to transfer that dream into reality. We must make it a physical representation of that seed that's planted in our brains. That's why my company's slogan, True Stories Media... Our slogan is imagine reality because it's not enough to imagine. We have to make these great imaginations a reality. You see, our brains are factories, the dream factory. Our brains are factories. They produce great ideas, great visions, great dreams. But it's up to us to make an assembly line to produce it in the real world. This assembly line will be a long, drawn out process. And you will be the only one working on that assembly line for a long time. In some cases, you're going to be the only one working on that assembly line forever. It's a very lonely process. It gets lonely working in that dream factory and on that assembly line by yourself. You're going to have a lot of thoughts of quitting. You're going to have to take multiple breaks. You're going to have to get back at it, though, regardless. You have to keep building that business. You have to do everything you can to accomplish your goals and make your dreams a reality. That's all a part of this assembly line. If you want to write a book, then every word you type and every page you complete is part of the assembly line. If you want to start a business, then your business plan and saving money, building up capital, that's all part of the assembly line. If you want to open an art museum, then every painting you create, every donation you secure is a part of your assembly line. It doesn't matter what type of business you want to start and it doesn't matter what type of goal or dream you have. Every single thing you do to make it a reality is part of your assembly line, bit by bit. See, it's grueling and it's ugly. Assembly lines are boring and they're repetitive. You're going to find yourself doing the same thing over and over. You're going to find yourself going through some of the same problems you went through last year. You're going to find yourself doing some of the same things constantly. And it will discourage you. And it might seem as if other people's dreams are coming to reality faster than yours, more efficient than yours. But you can't get caught up into into that. You can't pay any attention to other people's success because everyone's journey is different. You see, you don't know what they had to go through to accomplish those dreams. You don't know how much struggle they endured on their own personal assembly line to accomplish those dreams. Everyone's journey is different and your time will come. They had to endure some things, I'm sure, and you have to endure some things. Everybody's journey is different. Your time will come. Don't get sidetracked or discouraged by other people's success. If anything, you should let their success motivate you to accomplish more success, to work even harder. And when you do reach some type of success, don't be so quick to broadcast that to the world. You see, the best thing to do is to stay as quiet as possible while you're building your business, while you're on your journey, on your assembly line, trying to make your dreams a reality. It's best to stay as quiet as possible because when you create noise, it becomes a perfect opportunity for other people to take shots at you, for other people to send in seeds of doubt, for people to try to question your integrity and try to tear down your character. That's why you have to stay as quiet as possible. About a year ago, I did an episode on mogul motivation titled Confidential Dreams. And basically in that episode, I talked about how the world doesn't need to know your dreams. Most people don't need to know your dreams because the proof is in the pudding. Eventually, they're going to notice on their own 
through your hard work and through you building, through you making progress. You don't necessarily have to alert the world through your mouth because the world is going to be alerted through your work. It's best to do it that way as opposed to alerting the world through your, through your mouth. You see, a friend of mine put it this way. A friend of mine in law school said, our current circumstances aren't our measuring sticks. Which means that even though things may be moving slow for you right now, even though it might not seem like you're going anywhere, you are. Our measuring stick is progress. As long as you are closer to your dream today than you were yesterday, that's all that matters. Every day you're in business, and every day you make another sale, and every day you stay above bankruptcy, that's progress. Every time you learn something new, that's progress because you're smarter today than you were yesterday. Every day we put a new piece to the puzzle in this assembly line. That's progress. That's our measuring stick. The fact that we keep going. The fact that we refuse to shut everything down. The fact that we refuse to walk away. The dream factory must be open 24-7 from the moment the idea is conceived in your brain. Anyone with a dream can become a success. It doesn't matter if no one in your family has ever owned a business before or graduated from college. It doesn't matter if you come from a poor neighborhood surrounded by poverty, violence, and drugs. It doesn't matter if you've been written off by the school system and labeled as slow or having some type of learning disability. All of that is bullshit. Because all of these things are pitfalls that the negative forces in this world that we live in want you to succumb to. But we don't succumb to those pitfalls. We rise above them. That's what we do. That's what entrepreneurs do. That's what dreamers do. That's what visionaries do. You're a rare person in this world. You're an outlier. You have a dream and you will imagine reality. You will continue to work every day to make it a reality. You will not quit. You will not lose. You will not become another statistic and take your dream to the grave. No. You will be successful. And you will be one of the greatest to ever do it. So let's continue to build that business. Let's continue to go forward and accomplish our career goals. Let's continue to get our dream job. Let's continue to do everything we can on this assembly line and keep this dream factory booming so that we can make everything a reality that we conceive in our brain. So until next week, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue to work hard and let's continue to make it happen and have a great day.